Now, we are moving very fast. We're at the end of the book. Verse 11, And after three months we departed in a ship to Alexandria. Now, he's there three months, and just these few verses are given to us of his ministry there. And therefore, I think we can reasonably be sure that Paul preached the gospel and the fruit of it, the evidence of it, was the healing here, because that was the gift of an apostle. Now, we are told we departed in the ship of Alexandria, which had wintered in the island, whose sign was Castor and Pollux. And there, gods of the Romans, you find a pillar to that in the Roman Forum, by the way. Now, we move right on down, and from thence, will you notice, we fetched a compass and came to Regium, and after one day the south wind blew, and we came the next day to Puteoli, and the storm is over. The winds had blown. The Euroclean from the north had blown. Now it's the south wind again. Verse 14, they came to Utili, where we found brethren, and were desired to tarry with them seven days. And so we went toward Rome. And from thence, when the brethren heard of us, they came to meet us as far as Appii Forum. And that's on the Appian Way. And the three taverns, whom when Paul saw, he thanked God and took courage. He's arrived now. When we came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard, But Paul was suffered to dwell by himself with a soldier that kept him. And apparently they took turns on guard duty of Paul. came to pass that after three days Paul called the chief of the Jews together. When they were come together, he said to them, men and brethren, and he explained to them why he's been brought now to Rome. And I want to close actually with verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. The church, it's beginning now to move to the ends of the earth. Back yonder in the Garden of Eden, man doubted, and that led to disobedience. And the way back is by faith, the obedience of faith, as Paul says in Romans. And we find that there were some that believed it in that day, and some did not believe it. Now the book of Acts ends with Paul preaching the kingdom of God, teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. And why does it break off like that? Because the book of Acts is now being completed up in heaven, friends. The history of the church is not complete. And maybe you and I will get in there someplace. I hope we do that we've done something for the Lord in our day and generation. We stop here today, and we must stop in this very brief and blunt manner.